Yeah, it's really nice. Just trot on a mushroom. Trot on a mushroom. Yeah, it's a bit soft, but yeah, it's a mushroom. Not, not cow poo. Not cow poo, no, <laughs> no. Beautiful up here. Morning viewers. Morning viewers. Okay, so today we're doing some side sampling on the sheep. Actually, it's not side sampling anymore. We're taking a sample off the pin bone. Take a sample of wool, uh, send it up to Tenderfield, and we get the micron measured and a few other things measured as well. Yep. Um, this is on the maiden ewes. Now, normally we would have done this at uh, crutching time and taken a side sample with uh, the shearers would take a blow off the side of the sheep. But anyway, uh, we'll try this something different. Always up for something new, eh? Very good. Okay. Pl plus we have to get the ewes ready to go home. Plus we have to get the ewes ready to go back to our place, yeah. Righto. Yep. Okay, all right, let's go. Righto. So we've got them in the yard and Sarah's getting a worm sample. Hey, pod. Hey, pod. Steady, 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 steady. Cracking day today, beautiful day to be out doing some sheep work. Nice and nice little cool breeze, sun shining, middle of autumn, couldn't be better. <laughs> well, I don't know if you don't stick it down. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I'm with you. And then you have to put the um, sticky stuff in your pocket. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. Four one seven. Four one. So about seven. there. Oh, wherever you can, I think is. than I was doing. And go in, it's got to go and make sure it's flat, not wrinkled yep. up. Yep, I have. I don't know if they're wrinkled up. 113. One, one, three. Seriously good wool in this. I know. Bloody, they're like amazing. I'll just take the camera off. Well, I'm super impressed the way they've grown out. Yeah. And with all that rain as well, the wool's looking really good. They are looking good, mm. yeah. Uh, what are we after? Pen, envelope, scissors. scissors. Where are the scissors? Oh, on there. Right. Oh yeah, well we'll see if we can get a bit of film of this. Right -o. Hello. I said right oh, let's have a go. Let's have a go. 
three, two, seven. So Sarah gets the number and then she takes a sample from the back of the sheep there. And we use we send this wool away and get it tested. And that gives us a bit of information about the sheep that we can use for selection decisions. We only do this once in the lifetime of the sheep. Um, so we get a relative ranking. We're not too worried about the actual numbers per se, but we just want to know which ones are the best and which ones we should cull out at some future stage. 408. 408? Just do. A little bit hard to film this because we need all our hands for everything else and um, there's not enough hands left over to do the filming. 464. 464. So we just need a couple of staples worth really. About the size of a 10 cent piece is what the lady has asked us to give her. 004. 004. Pet. Pet with with um hmm. interesting wool. Interesting wool. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Uh, nice crimp. But I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Oops. Quite short. Really nice crimp. Short, tippy. 377. 377. Oh, a bit mobile that one. Lucky I didn't have the scissors on the skin. All right. Three, seven, seven. I've done that. I've been done, done. Steady on. Hard to read the numbers too. Yep, they don't. They think they're going to get it vaccine and they're yeah. not. Oops. Oops. <laughs> this one ducked out underneath. Two, two, four. Two, two, four. Yep. Very mobile, this one. Two, two four. Oops. Two, two, four. Oh dear. Yeah. What's the number on this one, Sweet? 320. 320. Yep. Not a longer staple, that one. Yeah, I got one working, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put that on when we start doing a few. Whoa! Okay, so we're do doing condition score on these singles at Brybrook. Um, Three and a half. Two and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three. Three. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Three. Three. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three. 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 Three and a half. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right up. Three and a half. Ouch. Three. Three. Three and a quarter. Three nine. We're about, we're about three, between three and a quarter and three and a half, uh, probably, on average. Well, they're averaging 3.28, yep. so 3.3. Yep, they're yeah. fine. Good condition so, for joining. So we'll save that when it's going to be. But anyway, they're in good nick for joining. So Absolutely. we can join those. Yep. So I'll these, count them out. So these are our maiden years. Um, we've just done a condition score on them. 
and they'll be able to join those without any worries at all. So they're in, they're in very good order actually. So it's been a fairly slow day, not very quick this job, but this is the last lot so we'll get these ones done and we'll call it a day. So, okay, so now, now all we've got to do is take those samples up to Tannerfield and get them tested um, and then we'll be able to put that into a spreadsheet and analyse that information. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Yep, been a bit of a long day. It has been a bit of a long day. Yeah, but we've still got a sense of humour. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Okay. Righto. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.